Happy Sunday. Moving right along. Can't believe it. Things are just popping. Anyways, um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about, you know, it is the month of Thanksgiving, even though it's not yet, but gratitude. And perhaps since we're midpoint, we can be grateful every day going out in the world like, oh, I wonder who I'm going to meet today. I wonder what conversations I will have. I wonder, you know, what opportunities may come my way. And going forward with almost like being in a place of um, non-judgmental curiosity. And do you get it? If you go out with that attitude of like, there's something out there waiting for me. And I wonder what it is. I wonder how things are going to turn around for me today. And just being in that wonderment, I think it's a great way to be. We're starting to think about Thanksgiving a little bit, being grateful. But how about this week? We're grateful for whatever we don't even know yet. We're grateful for the unknown. We're grateful for all those people out there that we will meet in the future. We're grateful for all the opportunities that may find us. It comes from a different way of doing things, but try that this week and see if anything happens. All right, so we're going to start with Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. These are all the masters and the goddesses and Kyle used to be right in, oh, he had uh, Mirrors of the Soul book, which was beautiful artwork. He used to be up in um, Upper State, New York, and he moved it to uh, Scotland, right in um, Edinburgh. And so all the years I wanted to go see his place, you know, and I thought, oh, I'll get there. And now it's in Scotland <laughs> to take a road trip. All right. Look at how pretty this is even on that side. He did these amazing, uh, if you ever get the book, Sacred Mirrors, did these amazing, very futuristic pictures of almost like your light body and what that would look like. And they look like doorways because the paintings are full length. Like you could stand in front of it and feel like you're being scanned and you could walk right into it. And amazing. So we have Diana, focused intention. Think about what you desire, set your sights high, and expect, expect the best possible outcome. Now, Diana is the goddess of the hunt, all about the animals and all of that. She all, often has a bow. And um, think of an arrow when she's trying to hit her mark. There's a target on the tree and she's trying to hit her mark. She's got to laser it in and go after what it is she wants. Focused intention. That's what calls to me. It's like, yeah, imagine you're pulling your, whatever that's called, back with the bow and you're going to let it just go right to where you want it to. All right. It says... Move forward with unwavering faith, knowing that the universe is supporting you. Diana is helping you awaken your divine ability to manifest what you deserve. Any fear is only a reminder that whatever you are working on through or through is an important issue for your growth. Your focus is strong now and will be particularly powerful at the full moon. You may be aware of night owl tendencies. This is because your angels and guides are sending you important messages that you may be missing during the day due to your busy schedule. Set some time aside and do a deep meditation to receive the guidance. And really, we could all look at that and say we're so busy. My favorite time, it's not my favorite time to get up at this time, but once I'm up is early, early in the morning, especially as... The weather's changing and it's dark out now at 5 or 5.30. I love that quiet time that I can just go into that space. All right, we have Mother Mary, Queen of Angels. Sorry, my Virgo had to pick some lint off my shirt. <laughs> it's 
So Mother Mary, what do we need to know at this most auspicious time? God, I step out of the way and surrender the need for control in order to make room for God's healing love to flow through me and this situation. So I remember in my early years of studying everything, thinking that I was the one healing and I was the one in charge. And I remember I got this message one time that said, you're doing a great job, Brenda, but you're not in charge yet. And it kind of stops you dead in your tracks. Oh yeah, I'm not. All right, it says, You've prayed for help, and now it's time to allow heaven to assist you. God's love and wisdom have always been available to you, provided that you're willing to trust his divine will. Release any unhealed components of your relationship with Creator to Mother Mary and the angels in favor of developing a closer and more trusting one. This may require tremendous faith on your part especially if we can't see a solution to your present situation on the horizon. This card indicates that you've been approaching this situation single-handedly, trying to anticipate and control the outcome to yourself or by yourself. Anxiety comes from distrust in divine order and timing, along with disappointment when other people don't follow your plans. Surrender your need to be the scriptwriter helps you to relax and actually get better results. God has room to heal you in the situation when you allow him to be in charge. <laughs> All right. This is Mary Magdalene's Sisterhood of the Rose Power Cards. So now we're going to ask Magdalene. What is the message for this week for everyone? The Great Mystery. This looks so dreamy with the water behind her, peaceful. So we know that life itself is a great mystery and there's just so much going on in the world right now that we can't make sense of it. It's just sometimes too much. But we still have to trust that within the mystery is also built in solutions for things. So even though we may not know how things will turn around, if they will turn around, Unreal, here we are again. <laughs> I'm gonna get, it's trying to help me get over this issue. This is a mystery to me, why people don't put page numbers or numbers on. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a number, it's blended in with the water. Thank you, spirit. See, when you let go, let God, they help you. All right, the great mystery. Allow some mystery into your life. Not every secret is meant to be known. Not every path understood. Some things will be revealed when the time is ripe. Some will never be discovered by you. You don't know all the parts of the divine plan, and you don't need to. What you need to know will be revealed to you. Let the rest be a beautiful mystery, and what is hidden shall come into the light, and what is revealed is of the highest truth. Rest in the truth that even though you may not see the whole picture, you are safe, you are aligned, and you are in place. Bow down to the great mystery. And Mary Magdalene says, trust the process. Something is hidden. Secrets release worry about the future. All right, I wish we could right now. All right, Denise Lynn, Sacred Traveler. We're getting there, we're getting there. Staying focused, hold the course. Mm. 
Okay, no number on here. Oh, she's got an index. Yay. Card meaning, be clear about what you are going, of where you are going. Do not compromise. Follow your dreams. You deserve the best. Prioritize your life. Once you decide on a direction, hold the course. Do not waver. Do what's important and release the rest. Place your intent and passion on one thing rather than scattering yourself in many directions and you will be successful. This wants you to know on the path, it's easy for the traveler to be distracted by people, events, and even shiny objects. Yes, shiny things, shiny things. <laughs> Do not take any side roads. Stay the course, keep going no matter what emerges in your path that distracts you. It's only to get lost and forget it's easy to get lost and forget where you're going. Recommit yourself to your destination. What you focus on is what you create. So put your attention on what is worthwhile, beautiful and inspiring. Refrain from focusing on what's not working. Only focus on the direction you want to go in. I love that. Oh, I guess we went through all the decks. That's weird. Oh no, there's one more. I thought there was another one. Earth Magic. This is by Stephen Farmer. God rest his soul. Great human being. All right, the last one for this week. What do people need to know? Shaman, ancient healing wisdom. We could all use some ancient healing right now, right? And he's got a index. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's under ancient. Okay, am I losing my mind here? Well, anyways, what a shaman is, is somebody that really has healing wisdom that can help you shift and um, move into looking at what is underneath. Why do you have disease? What's going on? What's the trauma that lies dormant? Sometimes they can take you on a um, soul retrieval where you get parts of yourself back. And here's a clue, people that call themselves shamans aren't, okay? Somebody that takes a course and then gets a certification that they're a shaman, forget it. Shamans are these natural people that have those abilities within them. Now, sometimes if somebody has had that in their past lives, yes, then they're trying to bring that back out again, what they already know. But these are the Peruvian shamans or the Native American shamans. And so it looks like we've got some healing to do this week. And I welcome that in. So having our focus on what we want, what our dreams are, allowing God to get a little help from God, your angels and your master teachers, and to know that we're not always supposed to know what the answer is to everything. And then... We've got to just hold our vision, hold our course. It's almost like the same thing as the focused intention. And then allow for the healing. Because often it's the healing energy that we need in order to unblock us and make it easier for us to get parts of ourselves back. So it should be an interesting week. Maybe this is the week to go see a body worker, a massage person, go take a yoga class, do something that's body related and see what happens. Have a great day.